Welcome to my Floss Tube Extra. This is my 51st video. Who knew I would have so many videos? Excuse Coco playing with a plastic bag. I never knew I would have so many videos. So since this is my 51st video, I'm going to give a giveaway. So for my giveaway, I'm sorry, I'm only going to give it to New Zealand citizens or people in New Zealand or Australia. So I have got four bags of Annie's Keepers. I have got some sheets of the stickers. Not that you can see them. No, I don't think you can see the stickers that go on the Annie's Keepers. So there's 50 Annie's Keepers. Can I show a Annie's Keeper? So they look like that. I brought them in the UK and got them shipped to New Zealand and it was really expensive for shipping and it isn't in everybody's financial ability to buy them that's why I'm giving them away um, so I've got four packs of these so if you put any I will draw but for everybody else in the world I will have two packs of 50 of my homemade 3d printed Three drops, so you'll get 50 three drops. So just put TD in capitals for three drops. I will write it on the screen. The same as Annie for the Annie's Keepers. This is a cross stitch channel. <laughs> so this was my um, piece that I worked on yesterday that I hope to get finished this year and I only got uh, 10 point something percent yesterday so I really need to push it along to get to 25 percent this month so can I really get there I'm really happy with how she looks considering she's a mini so really what am I doing here today I don't did my stitch with me yesterday. I'm here to show you my fabrics. <clears throat> I've moved my room around. <laughs> so I have heaps of bags of 25 count that I'm going to give to Jessica. Okay, I have body socks as well. And a um, thermometer. A forehead one <laughs> and 28 count casual linen <laughs> and look you're going to get heaps of is that 25 count or is it 28 count you're gonna to have to work it all out Jess <laughs> so here's the hand dyed I should have brought a board with me. This is what happens every time a video. I'm going to continue. <laughs> you just wanted to be in the background, didn't you, Brendan? This is called Chocolate Fish. It's a 27 count by Country Stitch. I was in the... In the... What was it called? Uh, the hand died I got it each month I wasn't in it very long because I kept getting fabrics that I thought I'd never use and I thought well I'm better off to just buy what I'd like instead of actually getting fabrics that I don't like so Jess I'm not sure you'll ever use it either if you don't want it Jess give it as a giveaway on your channel 
Okay, next piece is, oh look, it's another country stitch. Belfast Linen by Silver Fern, and it is a metre by 70 centimetres, which is 39 inches by 27. Excuse the jug in the background. I'll be microwave going in a minute. Uh, that's a bit washed out. I wonder if I take it out, it'll be better. I used to put my fabrics on comic cards. Mm. I don't think I can show it any better. Hey Brands, mm. can you turn this light off over here for me? It is the biggest light this end. Thank you. Somebody spilled like a bunch of water on the floor. Not that I know of. Mm. Where? Next to the bed, uh, next to the sink. Oh, probably dead. No. Oh, he was quickly doing dishes. Eh? What? He was quickly doing dishes. So. <laughs> I don't think that's going to show. It's actually quite a pretty green. Hey. No, he didn't hear me. Can you turn that one off too? No. Maybe that's better. Thanks. Did you I changed your entire setup just so you could record. No. <laughs> I changed my room because I didn't like it. So this piece is a 32 count linen. It's a 25 inch by 18. And it's called Beautiful Cosmos. And I'm pretty sure it's hand dyed by Ro Rolanda. Doesn't say on it. Oh, look, that that shows true. So, look, the natural light is the best. I think Jess will hate that. I actually know Jess will hate that. <laughs> She'll go, "What am I going to put on that?" So, if you hate that, Jess, just give it away. as well so I'm quite happy for you to give anything away you don't like excuse the crinkling I will put it back in the bag so she knows what it is Oh, look, it's only 32 count. Murano white. And it... Oh, look, I bought two pieces of it. Why would I buy two pieces of it? 70 by 85 centimetres. Oh, this is pretty. I bought a Lugana. A full yard. <laughs> of icicle. I love this too but it is a 32 count I think I bought this for possibly for my chatelaine but I decided it was too purple and this is called Spellbound it's another full yard and I decided this was too grey it is actually greyer than what it's showing. A lot greyer than what it's showing. And this is called Ashes. Oh, this might show 
No, it doesn't show how great the other one is. So, this is a purpley colour. It's not a very big piece. It's only 27 inches by 19 or 70 by 50. So, like I say, Jess, anything you don't like, just give away. And that's the bag empty. Oops, sorry, I dump, dumped you. I'm just going to stop it and grab the rest. Well, this next lot, I'm sorry, you're going to hear crinkling because I haven't seen any of these either. So we're all opening them together. Oh, God. Zephyrs? Zephyrs. Oh, is that how you pronounce it? It is a Lugana Opal 25 count. Why did I get a 25 count? Oh, it is pretty though. I'll fold it in half and I'll show one side. And then I'll show the other side, hopefully. I think I can use that because it is big enough that I could put a fancy lady on it of some description over two. So that is good. Throw the paper away. Oh, look. She even... So this is all from under the sea fabric. Gave me a, a needle threader. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to open them all and then you don't hear all the crinkling. Right, I've opened all them. If I may, um, mispronounce the names, I'm really sorry. Sugar Plum Fairies is my next piece. So they're all opals. I will show it in half again. Not that way. Ah, it's not very big. Ah, oh dear. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'll do with that one. It is a 26 by 36. That does not look, it look like a 26 by 36. That is not a 26 by 36. I need to measure that. That is a 17 by 26. There is no way. Ah, oh dear. Okay, this is a 17 by, uh, so maybe they've just missed. This is a Midsummer's VA. I don't even know what I ordered now, because I ordered it over a year ago. This is pretty. What is this one? Yeah, this is Iris. And this is a 17 by 26. And when I was stitching on um, 25 count, one over one, it would have been fine. But I'm not now. Wow, they haven't even searched the edges. Do they normally search the edges? Obviously not. future look this one is so some of them they do this is claws and it says it's a 26 by 36 I believe this is a 26 by 36 
Am I impressed with under the sea fabrics? Some of them, some of them not. I don't even remember. Because it was so long ago, there were so many issues getting the fabrics. Mm. Oh, that was brief. So I'm going to show you some of my kitted up fabric of projects that I found the other day. So, I kitted up um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith Asthma Absinthe Goggles. And how did I kit it up, Tanya? Excuse the zippers. What did I kit it up on? Ooh, I kitted it up on those. <laughs> <laughs> I must have been having a fad of those. Oh, look, I even stole a number. <laughs> oh, oh, I stole two numbers. I remember that. I didn't have 3848. Oh, look, 938. I didn't have that, obviously, either. Oh, actually, there's some threads in here. So maybe I just didn't put it on. So I have it all kitted up. Am I going to restart it? I haven't got the fabric in here, so that's good. So I can allocate those threads for something else. Oh, sorry. What else do I have in here? I have Sea Turtle by Pain Food Crafts, but it is on 25 count kitted up. It, I could put it on a hand dyed fabric or I could dye fabric myself at 20 count because I'm pretty sure the white it is all stitched so I think I'm going to do that look I have labelled everything well not everything. This is the snippet of the God's Sheet of Grace from the Cross Stitch Studio. I've started the RC piece. This is on 25 count. I think I will start this on 20 count and I want to compare the differences and see which I like more. So I think I will start that eventually. This is the piece that I showed last night, which is interesting. This is the Glendon Pace place pattern. And the designer, I was really shocked. I was, I was thinking, look, they've sent me the wrong patterns. It's for somebody else. But I actually have the designer has signed them, which I'm really shocked. I've never had patterns that have been signed before. So I have several pieces of fabric in this for these. They are all colour cascade fabrics. I think I bought... They're all 18 counts too, which I'll be able to work on. They're all opalescent. I didn't buy opalescent from them. I just bought normal fabrics, but they sent me opalescent. See, I have an issue with not getting what I want. From the under the sea fabrics, I did buy opalescent. And um, they stink. These I don't, that's why I don't buy um, Colour Cascade fabrics anymore. So I have the Specialty Threads for the Sleepy Hollow. So that's in there. I have the Special Threads, I seen them yesterday for the other one. Here we go. 
as well. So when I bought them, I bought everything for them. I have, for my Sleepy Hollow, I have all the anchor threads. I bought them all, but I don't know where I put them. So I need to find that. And they're in a gallon totem bag. So my Dom, Dom, Dominic Davidson piece, the, um, what's it called? The one that I was working on the other day, the, the cabin piece. I'm going to put in this because it's on a small key snap. It's a mini cabin. I'm going to put in this gown totem bag. Cause I and I love these. So I'm gonna put that aside. Oh. <sighs> oh dear. I hope you're gonna laugh with me. I have Krennic. I have treasure braid. I have beads. What are they for? I don't know. Put that aside. Ah, oh, Halloween nights. I have that kitted up. Small town stitches. I don't know. I know somebody on Floss Cheaper is actually working on it. What do I have that kitted on? <laughs> I have it all kitted up. Uh, I have it on Annie's Keepers. I'm going to change that to my, it's a Tilton Crafts pattern. I will insert the picture here, hopefully, of what it will look like. I haven't started it yet. This is probably the one piece that I am desperate to start. I might start it next year as a new start. I don't just have one piece of fabric in here. I have two pieces of fabric in here. I don't think I will start it on either. I have a Witch Out 25 count Lugana. And what colourway is it? Does it tell me? Wedgewood. It's actually quite pretty. Just quite pretty. I could actually use it for something else. I don't know what. So I'm going to put that aside. And Heather. That's quite pretty too. And that's 25 count. And I'll put that somewhere else too. And I think I'll do that on 20 count. There's a more likelihood of me doing it. Oh dear. I don't think I have a fabric for this one. Oh, I do. So this is Bewitched by Shannon Christine. So I do have all the beads. I obviously have all the DMC. And I have the fabric. Do I have the core for fabric is to the question. What have I got? I've got Picture This Plus. Wow, it's a 16 count. And it is a 34 by 54 inch. Wow, that'll be more than I need. But it is gorgeous. So, and just so people know, you cannot use a friction pen on Mystic. It will remove the dye from the Mystic. So if I want to grid this, I will have to use a silky or um, sulky, silky. I'll have to use a thread or a fishing line or something like that. I have got some DMC in there. I assume 
I have got most of the DMC for that. So that's obviously kitted up. Let's put the beads back in there. But I don't have it. The threads on thread drops. I need to do that up. So most of my bags. So I have have made myself. Yes, I'm making a mess. Unless I've stated, like this is a gown totem bag. What do I have in it? Oh, this is pretty. I have Raven Queen. And I wanted to start it this year. Have I started it? No. I have all the DMC floss. I have all the Krennic. So, typical itchy nose. I dyed myself. Oh my god. I have beads in Krennic in here. I also bought the bead pack. I also <laughs> dyed some fabric for it, opalescent of all things, but it's 14 count. There's no reason why I can't use that, even though it's opalescent. Oh, my nail got caught. That's all right. I need to write on that. I have a bag of DMC. It would have been kitted up for a project. Have I written on the bag? Do I know what it's for? Oh, I do know what this is for. Okay, so this is Tell Us and Pryor. That is all this game for that. And I got it from JK Stitching in Australia. And I, I'm going to sneeze, so I bought the, um, Again, the thread drops from Canada and I hate them so I'm going to actually use my own I find them way too big they're way too heavy so I will swap them out for mine that's why we did them so much smaller this is like a uh, um, potluck oops Something just fell out. I'll pick that up in a sec. What is in here? Ooh. This is Benchy by Hand Dyed by Stephanie. Excuse the wrinkles. I will, um, I'll probably press it before I use it. And I have the threads. Uh, on Annie's Keepers again. Oh, look, I'm missing one. 772. Um, for, uh, and it's a DMC. Is that in the bottom of the bag? Sometimes they are. Oop. Maybe it was out of stock at the moment. So this is for Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Look, I'm missing actually a few. So maybe that's why I didn't start it. I need to put the label on that bag too. Oh, what number is that? Five, six, one. I probably just fell out of that bag. I'll put that back in. Twenty-eight. 
28 count opal, I think. Jess, it's going in your bag. <laughs> this is a 14 count opal, and it is just, it's a mystery, I think. Oh, it's not. It's called Nessie. I bought a potluck bag from, oh look, here's another 28 count. I was doing dyeing uh, myself and I was doing shaving cream dyeing with the 28 count. The other day I said it about my, my, needle winder and you couldn't see it because of then i put a picture over it and this was the one that i was saying about from blonde moment who was it from it'll come to me when i'm not thinking about it denkai designs i have quite a few denkai designs oh this is my couriers that's my fabric for my couriers and I'm sure I've shown these before so I won't show them again ah. this is my animal panorama so I won't show that because I've already shown that so this must be my newest stuff hey it's so sleepy hollow Oh, wow. There's my threads that go with Sleepy Hollow. So that's all my, um, I bought the anchor. That's exciting. Oh, I knew I wanted to find them earlier. Oh, what else is in here? It's my new tote. Uh, that's my leftover threads for that. Ah, ain't that pretty not. This is called vellum. This was in my um, advent box. It's a 16 count. I'll just... And what I did was I... Because I only had plastic, um, I need to put that with all my fabrics. Oh, I'm going to lose it. Oh... This needs, to... I should be able to use this. Sorry, more crinkling, more fabric. Go figure. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? This is a 28 count. And it is by Country Stitch again, and it's called Tropical Ocean. And it is a 27 by 29 inch which is a 70 by 50 centimetre oops I don't know what I'd put on it mm. oh dear more clean up I need to have a drawer just with clean up sorry more clean up This is Taniwa. Taniwa. It's a casual linen. It's a 28 count, a 70 by 50, which is 27 by 19 inches. Somebody's going to say I mispronounce that fairly badly. And I'm a Kiwi. <laughs> 
so when i was buying fabrics i was looking for some um green pieces because coco dave always complains that i don't get many greens yes yeah, so i just do that piece of fabric on coco Ah, uh, hmm. 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 So this is Hanan. That's interesting. So I've got a zipper within a zipper. Oh look, that's all right then. And I've got my Mayari in here too. And hopefully, yeah, this is Tala. So I want to put I've got all the special threads. I'm going to put all the patterns together in that one wee bag. I want to put all the... I want to put them all on one piece of fabric. Oh, I do love this. What count is that, Tania? I think it's a gothic. Oh. I told a lie. It's a phantom. Buy a picture of this plus. And when I see the fabric, I think, oh, I love. I must have a burr on my fingernail. Because I just caught that again. I do love the fabric. Do I want to stitch them? No, not really. Okay, what count is it? Oh, it's 14 count. That will make it easy to stitch. I can see it easy. Will I stitch it? I spent all the money with Mayari's, these. There's Tala's beads. There's Hanan's babe. There's Hanan's Krennic. And Mayare's and Tala's Krennic's. So really, I have bought everything. I'll probably need a wee bit more DMC for some of them. Maybe. I need to just do it. No, it doesn't go in there. It's a bag of beads that I've already used for something else. And I've got a nice big bag. Do you agree I just need to commit and do it? More, more, more. This is my year in the woods fabrics. And all the patterns are in there. Everybody knows what they look like. I need to do them too. No Coco. So she's really bad for. See, what is this? It's a 14 count platinum, I think. Is it platinum? No, it's not. It's a grey. I don't know what the grey is called. 
It's a grey. It's a blue grey from Zygarde. Here is a 16 count. Easy count. I will have to double check just in case I'm wrong. Oh my goodness. What is this? Galaxy. I think it's a bee stitch me. It's an opalescent. I think it's a 16 count. I think I got this for Tala and all of that. And then I decided, no, I didn't want to use it. <laughs> I didn't want an opalescent. This is my problem. I don't just get one fabric. I don't even get two fabrics. This is Nexus. See, I don't just get one fabric. Oh, it's pretty though. What count is that, Tania? It's a 16 count too. And it's a half yard. This is why I have fabric everywhere. It is gorgeous. That's what I should have done with that fox piece. I should have put it on this and just done the fox, the cosmic fox. Oh dear. Phantom. What count is it? 16 count. I'm showing you fabrics today, and this isn't even including what's in my drawers. This is a surprise. That's beautiful. I'm pleased Dave's not here today. <laughs> Let's say, we'll say, you're not allowed to see this one. Oh my goodness, there's another piece in here. 14 count phantom. I obviously really like phantom. Let's put that all back in that bag. I haven't got that much bee stitch me because um, it takes a while for it to get here. And it costs the shipping. But the... Um, Oh, no, maybe, no. I was thinking that, um, the, the turtle, I still need to find a turtle piece, piece of fabric for that turtle. this 28 count Eden this is probably one of my favorite fabrics from country stitch and it's probably washing it out a wee bit I've got a whole meter of this so I'm happy with that This is Chromatic Alchemy. This was in my um, advent box. This was the specialty piece. It is a 16 count Ada. And how big is it? 18 by 26. I thought I'd said linen. Didn't. Isn't it gorgeous? But I don't know what to put on it. Right. Sorry, no sprinkles. Ah, oh, butterfly darts. This is a 28 count too. I have 
obviously had a wee phase of buying 28 count. I think I was thinking I'd be able to stitch on it over two and and if I couldn't use it, Jess would be able to use it. Mm. I'm not sure what I put on that. Don't know why I bought that. But it is gorgeous. So that's by Country Stitch 2. That's a New Zealand company. Huh. I have quite a gold broom in there. Look another piece. Sorry about the crinkling. This is a longer video than I thought it would be. What's this called? This is called Wildflowers. And this is very pretty too. So I've got big windows in front of me. So I think it's washing things out a little bit. But it's quite accurate with the colour. Oh dear. Another green. Did I tell you the last one was a 28 cap cashew linen as well? I got, this is a um, cashew 28 cap as well. The, it's a 100 by 70 as well. And this is called Mithril. Isn't that a Lord of the Rings name? I think I'm not a Lord of the Rings person. I might be wrong. But um, another green, it's a lot greener, darker green than it's showing. Because, um, like I said, I was after a green. Oh, that's it, Heather. What is in here? Oh, it's a Kiko Rouge one. Use the ah. This is called Forest Cat Screws the Crinkling. I haven't even started it. Another kit. Blue? Maybe? I was thinking for that turtle. I think it's too blue. This is called Raglan, Raglan Surf Break. And I think I need a 16 count any, or a 20 count anyway. Isn't that gorgeous? So once again... A 28 count casual linen, it's a 28 count, and it's called Raglan Surf Break. Love the colour. There's a reason why I bought it. Right, and one more, what is this? I don't know. I don't know. It just looks like a light blue to me. Has it got tag? I've obviously used some of it. Don't even know what it is. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, let's just say there was a lot more in that basket than I thought. <laughs> and it was a surprise to you as much as it was for me. <laughs> And I will edit this now and hopefully I will see you again soon. So thank you. Bye.